Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Welcome back to my channel today. Um, today I've got a little bit of a different video for you. Um, I don't know if you're aware, but on um, at the weekend I was on stage, which is a Stampin' Up! corporate event. And at, when we're at these events, we like to, the demonstrators like to swap projects. So we make a certain number of the same project um, and then we swap them with every lots of other demos. So we end up with loads and loads of different projects to inspire us and help us in our businesses. Um, and I thought today you might like to see some of the swaps that I received. But before I start, just have a look at this. Don't you just love this? This is the grid paper that was at our places at, on stage. Lovely green grid, grid paper. Not quite as big as our normal um, grid paper, but really lovely. And there were different colours throughout the ring. There was some pink, there was some blue, there were various colours. The other thing we had was in the middle of the table a vase with these beautiful butterflies which is an, a, an enlarged version of one of the butter, new butterfly dyes in the new catalogue but these were also in a vase um, with some ready shreddy um, and um, um, really pretty in all different shades of green and I think this one is in one of the new colours I think this is called sea foam seafoam green or something it's really pretty really pretty green I'm looking forward to getting some of that to work with anyway on with my shops swaps because I've got lots to show you I hope you're not going to get too bored okay I'm going to show you some cards first of all that I received some a lot of the swaps were cards but a lot of them were also 3d little gift bags little boxes and bookmarks and things so I'll show you those in a sec but first of all I'm going to whiz through the cards okay so this one uses the flourishing the flourish dies I think that's called I thought that was really pretty the way she's put, layered that on there with two circles and just a bit of stamping really pretty and that was Linda Starkey I'm going to try and name check people as I go through this one uses this I didn't buy this set actually I don't know if you can see that pretty just outline of a daffodil she used an ombre effect with the ink I'm not sure how she got that either but really effective color scheme here and that was Fanny Stafford so thank you Fanny this one was one of my ultimate favourites. This is a really pretty card. Coloured this really carefully. This is Jenny Moores has made this. Um, really pretty and you can see that it doesn't open all the way across. This is just, um, you know, it's just an odd odd length with this stuck on little bit of ribbon she's the pine wood planks um, embossing folder there and like I say colored that image really carefully I really love that card okay and I actually really like this card again this is not a stamp set that I've bought it's called hedgehogs I think it was in the spring catalog um, used with the petal garden designer paper and some sweet sugar plum there and this was by Margaret Moran really love that as well that's really pretty um, this one is by a very good friend of mine Jill Lackford who's at St Jill Stamps Up um, and she's used one of my ultimate favourite stamp sets here Blooms and Wishes which is retiring um, with the old catalogue so won't be available I don't think I'm going to be able to let mine go though I've used this set stamp set so much really pretty colour scheme that Jill's used there um, and then this one uses one of my current favourite um, sets which is the beautiful bouquet um, and the dye, matching dye bouquet bunch really pretty use the petal um, embossing folder at the back there really pretty card and she's even stamped inside as well and that was by Catherine Patel really pretty I like the colour scheme really lovely thank you Catherine this one was quite interesting um, I've not really got into brush shows because they're a bit messy for me and I don't really do messy crafting. I'm very clean and simple as you'll know if you've seen any of my designs. But I really like, this is so vibrant this card, so in your face. And what she's done is she's four different techniques for these four, so she's called it a patchwork brush show card. Quilt, a quilt of brush show techniques. Used a different technique and then the Celebrate You um, dies on there. Really lovely and that was by... Helen Jennings so thank you Helen this is a tiddly tiny one but really sweet I hold that up there this is from the bird banter again one is that's going to going to be retiring which I'm going to miss little tiny thank you on a little tiny square a dual colored colored square she's cut two bits of card and buttered them up to each other really pretty with that little budgie um, this one uses cake soiree um, and you can see that she's used the beautiful gold embossing powder on there. And this is like an easel type card, so it sits like that. Really pretty. I've got this set and I haven't used that cake yet, and it's really making me think that I should crack it open and get inking that set. 
Um, next one, it uses the beautiful butterflies um, dies and um, the watercolour wings um, set which is another one this is by Lynn Bennett and this is another set the dies and the, the stamp set are going um, retiring in the new catalogue and I'm going to really miss those I've used again the butterflies uh, such a lot and again one of my favourite cards um, you only think they're all my favourites this one again uses beautiful bouquet but just a little little kind of like tiny little cameo almost there Beauti beautiful colours the browns and the oranges really love that that was by Ruth Trice um, I'm going to be casing this card very very soon I love it I think it's really pretty and the last one was this one which I was really pleased to um, to receive because actually my grand my father-in-law um, used to keep bees he's very elderly now he's 93 so he can't do it anymore but he kept bees for a lot lot of years and this would be such an appropriate card to send him for his birthday it's by Chris Robson really pretty Chris thank you she's used the hexagon um, embossing plate some gold sequins and then the little bee she's actually clear embossed I don't know if you can see that shiny but it's really pretty and then some of the gold thread behind that really lovely so those were my favorite cards I just had to pick out a few to show you now I'll whiz through the 3d things for you as well so first of all we've got this lovely bookmark which uses the myths and magic um, it's Magical Day stamp set and the Magical Mates Frameless dies and the DSP is Myths and Magic they're very sparkly, very lovely thank you for that did I tell you who made that? no, Lynn Antel Lynn Antel, thank you for that this is by Jerim Dickens um, Jerim, I'll take it off there because that's just the packaging and I just put it on there so I'd remember her name made a little tiny notebook and I think she's actually made these notebooks herself with a cover again with the mermaid on there really pretty and she's um, laminated the mermaid so the glitter doesn't come off everywhere so that's really useful um, this one was Gainer Boyce just a simple flat lolly haven't opened it yet because it's stapled and i don't want to spoil it use the beautiful painted with love dsp which is going again in the new catalogue that will be going and some uh, the sunburst dye on there and some stamping really pretty nice nice way to just wrap up a very plain old lolly very sweet um, this one I just love this colour scheme on this little box this little box is so sweet it's got a tight tea light in it I'm not going to open it now because I've just put it all back together because it was so sweet so she's used yellow and grey basic grey and daffodil yellow the stamping is from the a good day set but she's cut off the border just use that and it's by Rosie Miners um, really really pretty and then she's a bit of the daffodil yellow stitched ribbon round there I just think that's really really cute really pretty um, another simple little one just use the um, foil frenzy to make an envelope with the envelope punch board and an, again a good day and some glimmer paper there and all of these a lot of these had little treats in them but a lot of them were chocolate and where I keep them is next to a radiator so I had to take the treats out and I haven't eaten them all yet I promise but I'm, I'm getting through them um, another little box here and the, the demonstrator who gave it to me I can remember her saying oh I haven't put any details on I think she was called Suzanne Smith Myth, but I wouldn't be sure just a pretty little box with a little tea light in it very nice um, what can I show you now this one was really one of my favorites quite a big gift box this one okay and I thought oh I wonder what's in it so I opened it up nice bit of lemon lime twist ribbon around the top there when I opened it up you'll think this is so clever because I loved this color scheme the colors that she'd used to do the dots she used the wood words um, stamp set to do the big ones and I think the work of art set to do the little ones if you when she opened it up look how well that coordinates these are just printed on the tissues how well she's made that and she didn't just do it for this pack my my roommate had a stripe one and she'd coordinated that as well so really really clever so thank you so much Karen Mackley I thought that was really lovely and I'm going to keep that I love that colour scheme and I just love how you've coordinated that brilliant oh can I get it back in there we go well, how are we doing right here we go just a very again a very simple little envelope made with the envelope um board punch with the petal garden papers again and a little belly band keeping all that together again that had a little chocolate treat in it this one and it was made by chris addison one of the pinkies i think chris addison is this one was made by another pinky actually a friend of mine liz yule she's used the lemon zest set to say life short 
live it with zest. Use the leaves from the leaf, the, the lemon punch, and made a little box with, um, I think that's pumpkin pie. Just have a check. I'm very sure it's pumpkin pie, yes. And inside there, I have opened it up, but I'm not going to open it now, is a little tiny box of um, orange Tic Tacs, which is really quite sweet. Um, this one is a bookmark or something to keep your shopping lists together. Again, very simple, little um, stamping and use the scallop punches, little bit of ribbon and a great big, big um, bookmark, but very sweet. And I love the colours all coordinating there. And that is by Rosa Johnson. So thank you, Rosa. That's lovely. And that'll be very useful. I will be using that. Okay, this one I think was my ultimate favourite, favourite ever. Okay, it's in a little glassine bag. When you take it out, it's got a little, it's like a, a place name so you could use that at a, a dinner table but it says may your day bubble over with happiness and she's embossed in clear some little bub bubble stamp there but what's really ingenious is in the top here this is actually bubble mixture in here with a wand really clever may your day bubble over with happiness and you've got the bubbles there to help it bubble over thought that was really lovely and that was julie smith i think yeah so really lovely loved your swap julie thank you nearly there okay little um I don't know what you call this origami little little origami pouch I've made lots of these in different sizes with different papers but I never tire of getting to see them really sweet again this had a little treat in it and it was made by old oh, Debbie Toner who's one of our, our team and she's at Debsy, Debsy Daisy um, but really really pretty and I love this paper that she's used and how she's stamped and used the scallop punches there really pretty okay very simple little box here again this had a little chocolate bar in it which i've had to take out but some the picture perfect um dsp and a little bit of bermuda bay ribbon around there really pretty uh, again and the last one this one little box and it's a game of belly band and can you see how the how she's closed that up i'm not sure i can actually get it closed again i don't know how i did it that time because i opened it and i couldn't do it for ages and then it opens up and there was some after it oh i've left the after eights in there. i need to take them out or they'll be amazing and this is karen tatton again she's on our team so thank you so much for watching hope you've enjoyed getting some inspiration from those swaps i really enjoyed looking at them and wow being wowed at everybody's inspiration um really really good um, and i'll be back another day and um, with some more projects for you thanks very much bye bye